Tracking rain, snow, even some ice in parts of the region tonight. Meteorologist Ray Petlin is here with an idea of what to expect where. Ray. Yeah, we already have some temperatures up in the ridges dipping down into that uh, freezing territory. You're 34 over in Somerset, while Oakland, Maryland, even colder still, 28 degrees. You work down into the lower lower elevations, and many of the temperatures are in the upper 30s and low 40s. So too warm for ice, but we've been having a hard time getting this rain going. Got a couple sprinkles down towards Morgantown, southern Fayette County, and you can see that what the radar is picking up on as you climb elevation is some light snow and some light mixed or freezing precipitation. That's shown by the pink down there. Uh, so just know that even the light drizzle can leave an icy glaze up in those ridges. So that's the concern is uh, slick conditions as a result of temperatures being at freezing or below and some rain or drizzle moving into that and freezing on contact. Right now it's very dry in Pittsburgh. We have a dew point at five. That's been slowly going up and our relative humidity has climbed to 23%. You need about 60% to have a good shot at some rain, so we're going to have some work to do to uh, juice up that atmosphere over the next couple of hours to get these rain showers going. We're looking for lows tonight at 35 Pittsburgh, Washington, 38 Connellsville as well. The freezing temperatures, Indiana, Johnstown, Somerset, and Oakland, and that's why those are the locations with the advisory that's in effect from 4 a.m. till 10 a.m., I'm sorry, 2 a.m. till 10 a.m. tomorrow. High temperatures for your Tuesday make it back to the mid 50s in Pittsburgh, Connellsville, upper 50s in Washington, and we're going to flirt with 60 degrees down in Morgantown. However, temperatures up to the north in the mid to upper 30s in spots like Dubois, 45 Franklin, and temps near 40 as you work back into Johnstown. You can see here as this precipitation moves by, this pink would be an indication of a mix or frozen precipitation. We're looking at the potential for the freezing rain and freezing drizzle up in those higher elevations, in Indiana, even as you get up towards Erie and uh, Meadville. So if you know someone going up north early tomorrow morning, you could run into it up there. Warmer temperatures take over and we'll see scattered rain showers. And I think most of this rain is going to come in on the lighter side. Then we catch a little break. Wednesday, we start off with the clouds. We clear it out in the afternoon. Enjoy those couple of sunbeams because the clouds come right back on Thursday, and that gets followed up by more widespread, steadier rain that's going to be with us through a good chunk of Thursday and into even early Friday before wrapping up and setting us up for a pretty spectacular weekend. Here's how it goes. Tonight, 35 rain developing a couple spots where we had some raindrops come in already but most of us still too dry for that temperatures tomorrow back to the mid 50s hit or miss rain showers around cloudy skies otherwise and you can see how this works out just some scattered showers with the warmest temperatures coming into play just after lunchtime to about 5 p.m. now into Wednesday some sunshine We'll get back into showers Thursday, as I mentioned. Then after an early shower on Friday, we'll see the sunshine break out and stick with us through the weekend into the start of next week. And you'll notice those temperatures are cooling off again on Friday, but we're right back to the 50s for the weekend and even 60s early next week. And with the rain on the way and even that potential for a little freezing rain up in the in the ridges, get the KDK weather app. If there's ever an alert, ever an alert it goes right to your mobile device. There's an interactive radar so you can track those showers in all for free. Search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.